to episode 183 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. I decided to start something a little new, so here's a sci-fi series. I'm going to start off by creating some very basic modular tile terrain, and then I'm going to create a whole bunch of scatter that represents different things. So basically what I'm going to do is build the floor plan layout of a space station. It's not necessarily in space, but maybe planet-based. And then I'm going to make it look like it's been taken over by different creatures. I'm not going to be building walls on the side of this terrain. So I started out by cutting out these 4 by 4 inch tiles. Don't worry about the rough edges. That's because this foam is recycled from a building company. I'll just do a light sanding on those edges when it comes to using those particular tiles later. Because I was cutting so many, I decided to use this blob of blue tack at the far end of the Proxon guide, just so that I wouldn't have to keep holding it and making sure it was exactly on the right setting. On each tile section, I drew out the 4 inch grid, and I didn't need to worry about the walls because I'm not adding them this time. This was a little bit faster. Here I'm cutting out three 2 by 2 inch sets of plastic mesh grid. These are going to be grating on some of the floors. I don't want the mesh sitting higher than the surface, so first I check that it fits the measurements that I've already made, and then I use this tool to press down the surface and make it lower. I made a fourth room tile with mesh, but I made this one longer. I was sure as I made it not to make it go right over to the edges because this wouldn't make a smooth transition to the next tile piece. Two sections are going to have a cutaway floor piece with this little bit left at the bottom. On top of that section there's going to be some pipes running through. These will be some exposed pipes, but they won't hinder the movement or the standability of the minis in the game. I really like the thickness of this pipe. It would contrast well with the other small pieces that I had. So I cut down it laterally using this small Dremel tool. On every single tile space, I use the end of a lollipop stick to make these rivet marks. After painting all the tiles black, I overbrush them with this grey, basically just pressing hard enough so that it wouldn't go into any of the gaps. Here I'm using a piece of recycled plastic overlaid on this grid so that I can create a number that I can use as a stencil. Plastic is a really good idea because then you can see through to the grid.
To match the rest of the painting technique I'm about to use, I just stipple on the blue instead of painting it on thickly. All of the main floor areas are painted red, but I only use this stippling technique again. What I'm trying to do is make it look like some of the paint has worn off. Mostly focusing on the middle of the spaces, I reapply some of the red paint, this time a little bit thicker. It probably makes sense that the area of paint that wears off the most is near the edges. Here I'm applying a medium black wash to all of the surfaces. Once I've applied the wash, I quickly dab over a piece of towel paper to absorb some of the areas. This makes it look a little bit more random. Here's a washed piece and an unwashed piece side by side. To the metal grating I then also apply a brown wash. When I focus on the long piece I make sure to run it up the middle especially. This is the areas that would be most walked on. Those thin bands that you might have noticed before uh, painted yellow, these are going to be safety lines. I then take this permanent marker and put in the black dashes over the top. Here's a look at the nine finished pieces. You'll notice that some of the rooms don't line up. I'm not worried at all by this because they'll be mostly different room sections. To connect them will come the doors and that's what will be in the next episode.
Thanks for watching. Hopefully there's something that you got out of the video, even if it's just knowing that you could do it better. And I might inspire you to go out and just do that. I'll catch you soon.